Hello, good morning. My name is uh, Olivier Bovis. I'm heading the AV Media business uh, in Southern Europe and uh, I've been asked to introduce you to some of the new products and solutions that we're bringing at IBC this year. So I'm probably going to take you through uh, four different areas. Uh, we've got a brand new camcorder, 4K, which I hope will, will uh, generate a lot of excitement on your side. We've got the technology, which is called real-time IP production, which is more of a technology concept to explain. I'm going to probably show you 4K live production, a full chain, which has been used at the Confederation Cup. And uh, probably just to finish off a little bit of, uh, again, technology preview of what could be the next screen in your house with uh, 4K OLED technology. Okay, so I'm here uh, sitting in front of a brand new product called the PXW Z100. This is our very first uh, 4K handy style uh, camcorder. And it's a pretty, uh, pretty piece of equipment. What you can do on this product is uh, record uh, on memory card the brand new XAVC codec. So that allows you to record either high definition or quad full HD, which is called also Ultra HD, or 4K, the full 4K scheme. Uh, the product is um, uh, starting to ship uh, very, very soon and is selling for about 6,000 200 euros at the least price. It's uh, using a half-inch sensor and the G-mount, uh, the G-series lenses. So the performance of the product in sensitivity terms is very, very high. In a uh, few months ago, we've been participating in uh, running the very first 4K live production uh, in Belo Horizonte in Brazil for the Confederation Cup. So back in April, we introduced the very first 4K live studio cameras. And now we're complementing the entire offering so you can do a full end-to-end -end, uh, 4K live production system. So behind me here is a technology demonstration, but also a product that is coming to market, which allows actually uh, to take two 4K pictures, stitch them together, like if they were if you want to uh, shoot together. And then actually within the picture, you can navigate and create an HD cutout of that picture. And actually you navigate around using some kind of mouse control. Yeah? So you've got two fixed cameras, 4K, stick together and within it you can navigate. Now on top of that comes a system called Telestrator which allows to track the players and put a number of statistics. So as you can see uh, eventually is capable to track the players automatically, uh, is highlighting them, giving their names, capturing the distance there uh, each of them are running, all this sort of data which could be very interesting in a second screen environment. So back into the big picture 4K cameras was released about in April. We just introduced uh, the stitching system. We're also introducing here at IBC uh, a brand new 4K server, which embeds this technology as well natively. Comes alongside that a 4K switcher, which is already available, and a 4K monitor, which allows you to see the picture. That gives you a full 4K live production system. And that will be also used for the World Cup in Brazil uh, in 2014 in uh, Rio de Janeiro. So watch the space if you're a fan of football. This is the next chapter, uh, and there is actually two topics behind me I can uh, actually uh, talk to you about. The first one, the very last screen above my head, uh, is actually a two-time 4K screen stitched together. So what you see in front of you here is a, an 8K by 2K picture, uh, which is absolutely stunning. Now, I don't know if you realize that on the web, but uh, from here I can tell you it's, it's magnificent. Now, underneath uh, the system, there is something called real-time IP production technology. That system is uh, a really interesting concept. It's not a product just yet, but it's something that allows, uh, in the longer term, to put a network connection into every single device, every camera, every monitor, and replace traditional video interface. And will allow you to, for example, put a, a bunch of cameras into one city and actually connect a switcher into another city, yeah? so you have the network connection, yet maintaining the real aspect of traditional video interface, which is real-time transmission, with synchronization and so on. So it's called real-time IP production. There's much more detail behind that, uh, which I can probably not uh, uh, explain to you just right now on the web, but if you go and check on the web, uh, you, you can find more detail. And that is something that uh, may change a number of products in a very uh, near future and for many, many products and many years to come. Another very quick topic, uh, I'm sitting here in front of something called Optical Disk Archive. This is a very interesting uh, system for archiving content um, and in a sense it's quite revolutionary. You can either, if you do archive today, what you can use is actually hard drive solution using a NAS for example or standard, standard on the hard drives or you can use actually a tape system like an LTO system. Now that uh, in itself contains uh, a number of disks inside which are not hard disks, they are optical disks and uh, you can have capacity from 300 gigabytes up to 1.5 terabytes 
And this cartridge, if you want, um, stores content. They can store any kind of files or video files. The interesting thing about it is that I could take this one and I could just leave it on the shelf for 50 years without touching and it would still work. The other thing I could do is I could dump it into the water, take it out and it would still work. The system does not consume any electricity requirements, not like a hard disk or a NAS which is connected. It does not require any air conditioning uh, treatment or anything. So it's a very, very unique system. And by nature, because this is disk, it's the best of both worlds. It's non-linear access, so you can access any file very quickly, like a hard disk, but it's uh, as... Uh, fast in, in transfer speed as an LTO system can be. So it's like the best combination of everything and it's called Optical Disk Archive. So um, uh, again, if some of you want to uh, store content, I invite you to check that out.